Hey there, retailers. It's Wendy Batten here with another episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. Today, I want to talk about something that has been coming up in my groups, with my coaching clients, with my inner circle, with my retailers, and even with friends running uh, businesses right now. And that is information overload, trying to keep track of all the orders and all of the information coming at us. Is that you? Stay tuned. I'm going to help you with a few tactics that are going to help you with the information that's coming at you and how you can keep it all straight. Running a creative retail business really shouldn't be so hard. I'm Wendy Batten, and this is the Creative Shop Talk podcast. Hey there, friends. So with all this change and all the uh, new ways of doing business, curbside pickup, deliveries, all of the things that are happening right now with retailers, it's not business as normal. I am getting emails every day. I'm talking to clients. I'm hearing, like I said, friends, everybody, anybody who's doing business right now in this new strange pandemic time as we uh, speak as i'm sh- as i'm recording this right now i just got off a coaching call with a client who said i need help i am overwhelmed and trying to figure out how to keep everything straight every day we're getting contacted through instagram through facebook direct messaging emails texts phone calls facebook lives sales are coming in on the internet <laughs> what how who is in charge of all of this? How can we possibly keep this all straight? So my advice is simple and complex at the same time. It can be done. We control the chaos coming in. And I know we don't want to say no. That's the first thing I hear my retailers say, I don't want to say no to anybody. I don't want to lose a sale. You know, it's nice to have the money and it's nice to serve my clients, but we have to have some kind of boundaries here, folks, because if not, it's just going to wear us out. So we do need to figure out a way to change it. It is going to cost us customers, even though we feel like we're saying yes, because we're going to miss orders. And I've seen it happen. I've had it happen. We have email coming in and you just miss an order and you just feel terrible if something happens, right? So we can't say yes to everything. We need to have boundaries in place. And we need to do that for our own sanity. And we need to do that for our customers experience as well, too, right? We need to always remember what experience our customers are going through. So how we can do that? Well, here's some tactics. We need to set some boundaries. Again, I keep saying the word boundaries and I can feel your eyeballs rolling. I know that you're thinking, well, I don't know how to set boundaries. I I wanna say yes to everybody or I want to set boundaries, but I'm not really sure how. So the first thing you need to remember is we don't have to say yes to everybody all the time. We can set business hours. We don't have to be checking our email, answering our texts, commenting on every message, as it happens. Make a system and take a time in your day when you can sit down and answer or corral or whatever system you put in place. And that's the second part. We need to put a system in place. And I hear all the time, I don't know how to do that, or I don't have time to do that. If you sit down and take 30 minutes maximum, it's all it's going to take, just quietly with a coffee and a pen and a piece of paper, and you plan out how you are going to handle all of these places. So first of all, brain dump all the places you're getting information from. Create a Google Doc, a spreadsheet, or an old-fashioned checklist or paper, you know, paper and pen on, on a clipboard, whatever works for you. Although you can do the tech thing, if you are squirming a little bit, just open a Google Doc, you'll be surprised at how easy that is and accessible it is from your phone and your desktop and all over the place. Take it from somebody who doesn't normally like tech, but I love um, Google Docs or whatever you're using, but find something that works for you and that you will use and your team will use if you have a team and make a system. So your system should include, you know, when we get a text or when are we going to look at our texts or how are we going to answer? So you can set up 
some automatic responses to Instagram DM messages. You just have to have a couple of letters will automate a response, the same response all the time. So I am recommending to my clients that they refer everybody to email. So corral it all in email, corral it all wherever it is you're corralling all your orders. One of my clients opened an online store and she really wants everybody to go through there because she was losing track of e-transfers and who's paid and who hasn't paid. And it was just getting overwhelming. Do you know what I mean? So she has been corralling everybody to her uh, website. So you could corral everybody to your email or wherever it is that you are going to keep track of everything. If you can, sending them to your website, to an online store is the easiest way to do it. Um, But I know that's not possible for everybody. And when I talk about the Instagram messaging, you can also do that with your automatic email, change the auto responser on your email with your Facebook messenger, uh, Instagram messenger, they can all have automatic responses to them saying, Hey, customer, (laughs) you know, you can send a really nice email. People are very kind. And if you just tell them how you can help them stay organized and help you stay organized, they're going, they're going to listen. It's really, really, really important, my friend, that we keep our sanity in check during this time. Our brain is already overflowing. So putting a system in place, sitting down, taking a system and figuring out, okay, every time an email comes in, what do I want to happen? Or when am I going to check my email? And again, corralling and putting down all of the places that you're getting all this information from and funneling it to one specific place. So again, ideally email or a website would be the the best way. Also, a lot of my clients aren't aware, but you can, there's a couple of new things, uh, of course, there is with Facebook and Instagram, they're changing all the time. But something that I wasn't aware of is Instagram messaging. I can now answer people on my computer, on my desktop my laptop, which to me makes a big difference. I don't use my phone a lot, but I would see messages come in from clients on Instagram and I really wanted to respond to DMs on the fly or on the go. So now twice a day, I sit down, I have it scheduled. I do it on my desktop. It's so much easier. I can type much faster than I can with my thumbs, you know, and I can corral that. I'm seeing my clients use that. Also, another new thing is your Instagram and your Facebook messenger can be combined into one. I'm going to say that again, because it's been kind of a big deal for a lot of my retailers. Instagram and Facebook messengers can now be combined onto one. Just Google how to do that. And I, or I'll put a screenshot in the notes. Thank you to my customer, Judy, who shared that with us when it first came out. And it's been such a godsend for so many people to help us streamline our our messaging that's coming in. But please remember that you do not have to answer everything as it comes in. And please put systems in place. Again, a spreadsheet, a document, something, a piece of paper. So when information's coming at you, you have some system in place. You know automatically you have that list on your phone or you have it with you all the time or you are checking it only a couple times a day. And also remember, it is okay to say no. It's okay to tell your customers, I'm sorry, we are not taking orders over the phone or I'm sorry, we are not taking orders via text, could you kindly call the store? It is okay to say, no, we are at capacity. We do not have any product left. This is a problem that I run into with many of my retailers. Well, just one more. I'll just do one more. If you put boundaries in place for your curbside pickup, for your delivery cutoffs, for your store hours right now, as we're watching retailers open, um, if you have a customer that you know is texting you and said, can I just come in a little bit? I can't make it after hours. Normally we wouldn't do that. And I understand we're trying to keep our customers happy. We're trying to keep money in the till. We're trying to keep our businesses going. I totally understand that, but we have to keep our sanity in place as well so that we can stay healthy and we can stay organized and we can have the best customer service possible for our customers because we will drop the ball if we don't have a system in place. And that's not good for our customers or for us. We shouldn't be putting ourselves through that. So I really want to encourage you to just sit down, take 30 minutes, 
I promise you, it probably won't even take that much time. Do it over your coffee tomorrow morning. Do it right now. Just set the timer on your phone, sit down, focus on one thing, and it's just putting a system in place to corral all these information channels because there are so many. And and I know it's a problem. Um, You know, again, even just corralling on Facebook lives and sales and Instagram, email, texts, phone calls, it's all coming in. Put a system in place and that will just feel so good for you. It will free up your brain. It will free up your time and it will keep your customer service levels at a high standard, which I know that's how you want to be. So good luck with the tactics. Let me know. I would love for you to join us uh, inside my Rockstar Creatives Facebook group on Thursdays. We have a coffee chat and we continue the conversation over there every Thursday at 11 o'clock Eastern uh, inside my free group. Again, it's called Rockstar Creatives. We'll link it in the show notes. And we would love to have you come over and tell us your tips for how you're keeping control or come over and chat with me and let me know if we can help you in any other way. Retailers right now are in a new normal. Things are getting busier. We need to make sure that we are keeping our sanity, keeping our CEO hat on. We need to work at it from a business level, not in a panic level, from a strategic position as store owners, we need to make sure that we're coming from that place of control, not panic. So having all these things coming at us is going to keep you in a panic mode, not a control mode. So let's get back to being strategic. Let's get this information overwhelmed, controlled, and uh, let's rock our business. So hope to see you inside the Rockstar Creatives, having a chat with me, bring your coffee. You can pack your orders or (laughs) paint your pieces while we're chatting um, on Thursdays at 11 a.m. I would love to see you there. So thanks for listening. Have a great day, everybody. And I hope you are able to calm your chaos. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I know how precious your time is, and I'm so appreciate you uh, taking time out of your crazy day to be here with us. All the links for today's show can be found at wendybatten.com slash podcast. We'd also like to invite you to come over and continue the conversation over on my free Facebook group. It's called Rockstar Creatives. I'm going to be popping in there live every week to continue the conversation, talk a little bit about what we spoke about today. And I'd love for you to join us over there, Rockstar Creatives on Facebook. I'd also love to ask if it's not too much trouble, if you could leave me a review and let me know what you think of the podcast. If you're loving the show, be sure that you're subscribing to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. I'd hate for you to miss one. It's been such a pleasure to be here with you today. I'll see you next week here on the Creative Shop Talk podcast.